Is Microsoft-backed OpenAI headed for a clash with Palantir Technologies? You might wonder why this battle between tech giants matters to you. Well, let's break it down in simpler terms. We're talking about a showdown in the world of AI and data analysis, the very tech that shapes our digital lives. Imagine OpenAI as a super smart assistant and Palantir as a data wizard. They're racing to revolutionize how we use data and artificial intelligence, which isn't just a corporate battle. It's a battle that could reshape our technology-driven world from businesses to government agencies. So, in this video, we'll dive into this intriguing competition and see how it could impact industries and our daily lives. Strap in because the clash of titans is about to unfold. Let's start with Palantir. It's basically a software company. What sets it apart? Palantir is like the data maestro of the digital world. Think of it as a company that knows how to dig deep into piles of information, making sense of it all. They're experts at taking loads of data and turning it into valuable insights. But Palantir isn't just any software company. It has a bit of a controversial side, too. You see, they've worked closely with government agencies, including ICE or the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Now, you might wonder why they're working with ICE. Well, the answer isn't black and white. It's about helping these agencies manage and use data more effectively, which can be a double-edged sword. In addition, Palantir has come up with something called the Palantir Artificial Intelligence Platform, or AIP for short. Now, this AIP isn't your typical software, it's a game changer. It's like Palantir's secret weapon in the world of data analysis. AIP can integrate massive language models, like OpenAI's GPT-4, into its arsenal. These models are like the brains of the operation, helping it make sense of loads of data. But what's really caught everyone's attention is a live demonstration of what AIP can do. Picture a military operator monitoring a dicey situation in Eastern Europe spots some suspicious enemy movements. It's a bit like a scene from a spy movie, right? Well, AIP quickly swings into action. It analyzes the situation and, wait for it, suggests tactical responses. Now, that's impressive, no doubt. But it also raises questions about the role of AI in high-stakes scenarios. It's a bit like giving a powerful tool to someone. It can be a game changer, but it needs to be used wisely and carefully. But despite the incredible potential of AI like GPT-4, there's a flip side that can't be ignored. When you bring AI into sensitive areas like military operations, it's like walking on a tightrope. Here's the thing, AI doesn't have feelings, ethics, or a conscience. It operates based on data and algorithms, so it can sometimes make decisions humans might question. Imagine this scenario, AI suggesting a course of action on the battlefield. Sounds impressive, right? But what if it's wrong or misunderstood? The consequences could be grave. This is where the need for control and regulation comes in. Without proper checks and balances, AI could do things it shouldn't, which could lead to unauthorized actions and even spreading misinformation. Moreover, Palantir also made a big announcement recently. They've got the green light, you could say. They achieved something called FedRAMP authorization and accreditation. Now, what does that mean for you and me? It's like opening the door to some top secret government stuff. This authorization allows Palantir to support workloads at the U.S. Department of Defense Impact Level 4 and DODIL 5. In simple terms, it means they're trusted to handle some seriously classified and sensitive data. Another partnership that's turning heads is the collaboration between Palantir and Microsoft. They're not just sticking to the private sector, but also taking their tech prowess to the public sector. It's like two tech giants joining forces to offer their best to government agencies and more. But they're not stopping at IL-5. They've also got their sights set on IL-6. IL-6 is like the next level in the government tech game. They're aiming high and looking to integrate their services across different cloud platforms, kind of like bringing all the best tools to the party. Now, a lot of people are curious about how Palantir and Microsoft stack up against each other. They're both heavyweights in the tech world, but have slightly different specialties. First up, Palantir. They're known for their knack for data analysis and integration. On the other hand, you've got Microsoft, a tech giant with a range of offerings. They've got Microsoft Azure, a massive cloud platform that's like the backbone of the digital world. And now, they're diving into the AI game with Bing Chat Enterprise, taking on the likes of Palantir. So, are they headed for a clash? Well, it's like two heavyweight champs stepping into the ring. While they might have different specialties, they're both eyeing the public sector. Palantir's all about IL-6 and multi-cloud integration, while Microsoft is flexing its muscles with Azure. But before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. Furthermore, the two companies are also teaming up to supercharge innovation, especially when it comes to national security. 
Panettiere and Microsoft are on a mission to offer top-notch cloud solutions for critical missions that safeguard a nation. One big move they've made is getting the Palantir Federal Cloud Service, or PFCS, the green light with FedRAMP authorization on Microsoft Azure. This authorization allows agencies to get the green light for their cloud computing products and services faster. As for their stocks, Palantir Technologies and Microsoft have been in the spotlight for different reasons. Palantir stock on September 22nd was trading at $14.13 with a market capitalization of $30.41 billion. It's been quite the roller coaster, offering investors impressive returns of more than 123.79% year to date. One significant boost to Palantir's stock was its impressive first quarter earnings in 2023, which outperformed analysts' expectations in revenue and earnings per share. On the other hand, Microsoft had an impressive stock price of $317.01 on September 22, 2023, with a substantial market capitalization of $2.355 trillion. While it might not have experienced the same explosive growth as Palantir recently, it's a tech giant with a strong presence. Now, let's talk predictions. Palantir has shown bullish signs, crossing the 50-day and 200-day moving averages, indicating an uptrend. The relative strength index is in the overbought zone, and the moving average convergence divergence is bullish. Some experts predict that Palantir might hit $30, but investors should exercise caution due to its already high valuation. As for Microsoft, it's on a steady path, with the potential to surpass $400, driven by its AI-enhanced products and the possibility of acquiring Activision Blizzard. They're making strides in AI, offering products like Microsoft 365 Copilot, priced at $30 per user per month, and generating revenue from generative AI-enabled products. However, Microsoft faces hurdles in acquiring Activision Blizzard, and regulatory approval is still pending. But if successful, it could unlock significant opportunities for the company. Now, even though Palantir and Microsoft are marching to the beat of their own drums, the clash of these tech titans in the public sector and tech realms is turning heads. With its data prowess and recent stock surge, Palantir is making waves in the analytics and government sectors. At the same time, Microsoft, armed with AI innovations and a looming Activision Blizzard acquisition, is no slouch either. This competition isn't just about numbers, but the future of data, AI, and national security. So, as you watch this tech showdown unfold, consider the implications. Will Microsoft-backed OpenAI and Palantir continue to vie for supremacy in the technology and public sector arenas? Join the conversation in the comments below. And while you're at it, make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know more about SoFi Stock and another rising tech company, I highly recommend watching this amazing video. Simply click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.